That's not what God told Jesus. No. God came with the word that persuaded Jesus of his love for him. Yes. And that brought forth rest. See, God called forth rest out of this human. The only thing God needed for this human was for this human to be born of the spirit and not carnal. Yeah. Right? right? Because in him being born of the spirit, he could actually hear what the father was saying. And so he would be awestruck at the father's love for him. Right? And then that would cause him to all his days rest in the father's love for him. Right. And then that brought forth. You see how he had one God? Yeah. The Lord is God. Do you see that? Do you see how Adam had another God? Yeah. And so God saw that man was in the place where they had another God because they were enlisting their own works to try to clothe themselves. So God said, I got to do something to bring forth something in their hearts where they see that I'm their, they, that they have one God, the Lord their God, right. where they see that I'm their God. And when they see that I'm their God, that they'll find something in them where they're still, where they, they, they're not laboring and toiling. And so the way that he did that was ultimately sending Jesus, right? But in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy is the revelation of that, right? Yep. Where he come to, he come to fix what was ailing human, which was that they had gone after another God. And so he needed a human that would have one God. And that's how Jesus did it. Yep. Murray wants to jump in. 